So when a platform takes something down, it doesn't mean it's copyright and fragment. When the judge say that, then it's that. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're gonna talk about is my copyright good in other countries? So imagine you get a copyright in the Netherlands or in the Kingdom of the Netherlands, and you're asking yourself, okay, I have a copyright in the Netherlands or Kingdom, I can prove that. But how is that same right in other country? How do I know if I have that same right in other country? And if I have a right, what can I do with it? Interesting question, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about those kind of things. I'm not going in depth about certain kind of country. If you're interested in this kind of things, what you need to do is just follow this channel because during this channel, I will discuss the copyright rules of different countries. And based on that, you can see, oh, I can find the rules here. And if I have copyright somewhere, what does it mean with copyright here? So hopefully if you find it interesting, follow the channel and uh, I will keep you up to date. I will try to discuss every topic one by one. And if you're interested, just join the Discord. You will see when I'm uh, online and where I discuss the kind of topic. You can ask a question live. I will try to answer them. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So let's go to the drawing board so I can draw the situation so you can understand the situation and so we can talk about that. So this is my drawing board. And simply, let's say we are in the Netherlands and we have copyright. So we call it Netherlands and now we're in a small country and in that country we establish so we know, hey, I have copyrights, I can prove it, I have paper for it, I register, it's acknowledged, everything. But what is my, my copyright word, let's say in the US, sorry about this. So the, what's the copyright word in the US? or in China or in um, let's say Canada these are these are sign of uh, the country doesn't mean it's that big in reality but it's just show you we are talking about country so we have a Canada wow it cannot uh, I need to get used to this Canada and uh, you know what let's only use uh, yeah so let us Canada and let's do one more for a small one Australia I really need to get used to this pen so we have here USA China Canada and Australia so I have copyright here how does copyright here work Let's say it doesn't mean that I also, also have copyright here. It doesn't mean that I also have copyright here. And it doesn't mean that I also have copyright here and here. The thing is, you need to understand the rules of the country when you want to apply for copyright. What I mean by apply is, let's say someone in China or someone in the US copy your work and you want to go after them. What you need to know is, okay, I have copyright here. How do I get copyright in this country? If I want to know what kind of impact my copyright here has of other country, I need to know how does copyright work there? Second, what is my right? You understand what I mean? So I need to know how those rules work and what are those my what are my rights? And the third question is how can I use them? Understand? So if you look at this, in Netherlands, I already know it. I show you the rules. You can see here, okay, this is the right. This is what I can do with it. Openbaar maken we vorige. So, this is the right. I can make it public, reproduce, reproduce it. And there are limitations. That's simple, right? This is my right. I can find the rules here so I know what it is and I can also see here how I can use it it's that simple but if you want to do the same for other country 
you need to look those rights you need to look those rules you need to look up okay where can i find the rules how can you use it and how does it work and what are my rights so when you have rights here you can go after them for this right but it's also important to look okay what are my chances for having the same right in that country you understand what i mean eh? so your copyright can be good in other countries so if you look at the question of today is is my copyright good in other country it depends really it depends on it depends on what the rules are in the countries you have some countries that don't even have clear rules about copyright or some countries they have rules about copyright but you cannot take any action because some people don't take the rules seriously so enforcement is going to be hard i'm not going to name some country i'm going to say anything about it i'm just saying watch out for that so if you have something and you really want to protect it with copyright think twice especially if it's international because you can waste a lot of money for hiring a lawyer in the u.s to make your case and after that you have to go to the court that costs a lot of money same for china same for canada same for australia because you do not know anything about those law and sometimes if you know about the rules and how they works you can take actions you can do some things before going to a lawyer in that country so it's important to understand how it works and see if it's worth it hiring lawyer or not in that country so is it good in another country it depends if copyright is good in another country if copyright is good in another country then you know your rights and you know okay can i take this action or not simple right so think about those things and you're asking the correct question but the thing is do you have the pocket to let someone else do the work for you do you have the pocket to go after this person when you have the pocket i mean do you have enough money because when you go after someone sometimes most time the people don't have the money to pay you back sometimes the company will go bankrupt but they cannot pay you back so when you invest in certain kind of cases think about twice do i get my money back or not so is my copyright good in a country in other country it depends but even if it's good is it worth it going after someone because when you go after someone it doesn't mean you will get your investment back and sometimes just by knowing the simple things you can scare some people so let's say someone in the us is using your copyright you can send themselves your letter or you can let a lawyer in netherlands send them a letter in the us to scare them because they do not know about it and if you do it correctly it will work sometimes you will see some platforms they um they work like this if you're in netherlands you need to follow the rules of the Netherlands copyright owner. If you're in the US, the same thing. And the thing is, sometimes you can send the platform on, uh, a letter, for example, YouTube or Facebook, uh, or follow the process about copyright and tell them, hey, there's a problem here with the copyright. I can prove they have the copyright. They will take action. If they do not take action, you can take action against them. And most of the time, they do not appreciate that. But most of the time they will take your claim seriously unless you send them every day and claim or unless the claim doesn't meet the requirements they're not going to take it seriously but if they take it seriously they can take down the person on their platform that doesn't mean they can take it down somewhere else that doesn't mean their decision is the the guideline they are not the judge the reason why i'm saying that is most people think oh when the video is taken down there's copyright fragment no it's just they take it down they're not judged when you go through you can still go to the judge to get your claim because someone used your work without permission you understand what i mean so when a platform takes something down it doesn't mean it's copyright and fragment when the judge say that then is that yeah so is copyright good in other country yes it depends on the situation can i do something with it also depends on the situation it depends on your financial if you can take action or not it always depends on you so this is an interesting question but most time you need to look at a specific situation and then you need to tell the person you can do something or you cannot do something because you need to put a lot of facts together you need to put a lot of facts together and see can this person take action or not and that's the thing so 
we talk about uh, copyright in different country i show you some examples and i told you that when you look at copyright and you talk about okay how does it work what are my rights is it worth it going after person those are questions you need to ask yourself there are more questions you need to ask yourself but those are questions that you need to ask yourself when you ask yourself is copyright good in another country and it also depends how the laws are there some countries have laws but they do not enforce it some country they have law they enforce it and some country they don't even have law so watch out for those kind of situation if you have question about certain kind of um, country or you have question about this topic and you are new to this channel just go on discord and ask me directly if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe if you have question about this let me know and i will see you in the next video i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be